Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, a place where you watch and learn. I'm your tutor, Alex Musawa, and our lesson is number 31. Our title is Effects of Total Internal Reflection. The objectives of this lesson are to find out the effects of total internal reflection. Number two, to find out the applications of total internal reflection in daily life. As you can see, that that is a mirage. And how is a mirage formed? On a hot day, the ground gets heated up and it turns in and in turn heats up the air above it. The heated air expands and becomes less dense. Denser air has a higher refractive index than the less dense air. This means that physically denser air is optically denser than the physically less dense air. Therefore, on a hot day, the refractive index increases gradually from the ground upwards. A ray of light traveling in air from the sky towards the ground passes from the colder to warmer air of less refractive index and is bent gradually away from the normal. This is called continuous refraction. Therefore, one tends to observe things mirrored, mirrored things that are appear as far as though they appear closer. Mirages are also witnessed in cold regions, but this time the, la the light curves in opposite direction to one in hot areas. The mirage gives us an optical illusion of an inverted image in a pool of water. That is a mirage. Another one is atmospheric refraction. The sun is set after it has set. The sun is seen after it has set due to refraction in the Earth's atmosphere. Light rays from the sun are refracted towards the Earth, as you can see from the diagram. Is total internal reflection in prisms. When you turn a ray of light, consider a ray of light incident to the surface, as you can see, of a right angle associated as prism. The ray passes on and refracted. As you can see, the ray has not been refracted and it makes an angle of 45 degrees with the normal. The angle is greater than the critical angle for the glass, which is 42 degrees. Hence, the ray is totally internally refracted, obeying the laws of, re of reflection. The reflected ray meets the, the face. As you can see, the reflected ray meets the, meets the face B, C, normally, and passes on and deviated. To turn a ray of light, to turn a ray through 180 degrees. As you can see, the ray meets the prism normally and passes on and deviated, as you can see from the diagram. It makes an angle of 45 degrees with the normal. The ray makes an angle of 45 degrees with the normal. The normal. And it's again totally internally, internally reflected as the angle of incidence in 45 degrees. The ray is deviated through 90 degrees and deviates and it deviates in a further 90 degrees. Hey, hence the ray undergoes a total deviation of 180 degrees. Inversion without deviation. As you can see, that is inversion without deviation. It produces an inverted image. The rays are deviated through 180 degrees. That is inversion with deviation. What are the applications of total internal reflection? It is applied in prisms. Light is devi deviated through 90 degrees by the first prism before the second prism. It is applied in a periscope. That is a periscope. Light is deviated through 90 degrees by the first prism before the second prism deviates it further 90 degrees in the opposite direction, forming an image that is direct and virtual. It is used in submarines. 
it is also used in binoculars prism binoculars as you can see a, a binoculars is made up of prisms the prisms are used in a pair of, of, of binoculars telescopes to reduce the distance between the eyepiece and the objective reducing the length of the telescope and also to erect the inverted image it is called a prism binocular It is also used in optical fibers. As you can see, because of total internal reflection, the light is able to, to, to travel in an optical fiber. It under, undergoes repeated total internal reflections on the boundary of the high and low refractive index glass. This provides an efficient way of transmitting light energy. And that is the end of our lesson. I have an activity for you. Number one, describe how total internal reflection is applied in pentaprism. prisms. Number two, how are mirages mirage formed? Our reference comes from KLB Book 3, Physics 5th Edition, 2019. For more information, contact us on our phone number, YouTube, Elimu TV. Facebook, Elimu TV, and Twitter at Elimu TV underscore KE. Thank you for watching Elimu TV. Stay tuned.